woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I rush out, bitch, now I'm focused on your fine. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. Okay. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. Stop my shine. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. Shine. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. Okay. Stop my shine. What's up, everybody? What's happening? TNK Squad checking in with another video, man. It's your boy Travis checking in. We're going to talk about this Megan Thee Stallion thing today. So, y'all can read the title, man. This video right here is called Megan Thee Stallion Has Been Corrupted by the Industry. And basically, we're going to talk about, you know, her rise to success and how the industry has corrupted her mind. Uh, we talk about all the time how these labels do these artists wrong. Um... Take from them, steal from them, you know, eat them up, spit them out. But we never talk about how these artists bite the hands that feed them and do them dirty. So, um, Megan Thee Stallion, in just like, just less than two years ago, was a local rapper on the Houston scene doing freestyles, trying to make it. And she was approached by a former Major League Baseball player by the name of Carl Crawford. Um, that's the CEO of the label that she's currently signed to. It's called 1501 Certified Entertainment. So Carl Crawford was a Major League Baseball player. He retired and created a record company. Now, he teamed up with a guy by the name of T. Ferris, who used to be the manager of Paul Wilde and all these other people. They kind of grew up together. So he went to T. Ferris as the music knowledge. He has the money and he needed T. Ferris as the knowledge to help get behind him and create this company. So they, you know, went searching for artists. They happened to find Megan Thee Stallion. They reached out to her. They loved her. They signed her. Now, being that he was a major league baseball player, which means he had a big check to play with, a lot of money. So that's how Megan Thee Stallion blew up so fast. They put a lot of money into her and they knew the right avenues to go into because T. Ferris had, the, you know, the connections and stuff like that. So, Carl put, Carl was, in, he was willing to invest whatever into this artist because he wanted to be big in the music business. So, they invested his money. She blew up very quickly. Big Old Freak became an instant hit. They ended up getting a record deal with 300 Entertainment. Well, a distribution deal with 300 Entertainment. Um, this is where it comes into play that I've been telling y'all how the industry can corrupt somebody. Now, when you get into the business with a person, you know, business is business, but there should be something called loyalty involved when you get tied up with somebody and they're the person that helped launch your career. Like without them, you may not be what's sitting where you at right now. You know what I'm saying? And I said, Carl is that for Megan. Um, so he put in the game, they got to deal with 300 and now all of a sudden she goes behind his back and signs a management deal with Rock Nation. Now, right, everybody know Rock Nation is Jay-Z, one of the most major companies out right now. Um, the whole vibe, the whole situation for signing that deal with Rock Nation was basically power and muscle. And that's to, now that I've used you to get where I want, now I want out of my deal. And I can move on. So she can probably pretty much go on to Rock Nation, period. Um, there are certain things called contracts, but when you have people that got muscle and they got power, they can try to work through contracts. So um, Carl Crawford stated in an interview that he didn't even know Megan Thee Stallion was with Rock Nation. He found out like everybody else did through Instagram. So find out that she was with Rock Nation. He then received confirmation through attorneys that the attorney said that they needed to renegotiate her contract or they were going to take everything. So basically, she got four albums to do on 1501 Certified Entertainment. And she hasn't even dropped an album yet because the other two were mixtapes. So she has four albums to release. Now they're trying to restructure this deal with her. Uh, and they're trying to force him or they're going to take everything from him. So that's why he went and got 
Jay Prince to be his partner now. So nobody can take anything in this situation. Um, all this comes from just somebody being in Megan's ear. Now, T. Ferris, his partner, you want to know what happened to him. He ended up going with Megan over the Rock Nation. So that leaves that leaves Carl Crawford to start all over again with his company. Um, basically. So Megan is a part of the company, but she's not. So it's like she's still on paperwork, but she don't rep it. She don't do nothing. So it's almost like she's not with him. Because without the person that helped build the company, the help name helped build the company, because it was a brand new upstart company. So without the without the artist that helped name build the company, it's almost like he's a nobody again. So he got to start over, find new, find new artists to break again. Um, so I go back to saying Megan is corrupted by the industry because somebody had to get in her ear and tell her, you don't need him. We can make you bigger. We can take you to a bigger level. And they took over the Rock Nation. Also, I say she's corrupted by the industry because that whole relationship she had with Moneybag Yo was all fake. It was all fake and it was only done, it was all done to keep her name in the spotlight, to make her bigger, put her into an industry relationship because she already had a relationship with a dude that's not in the industry. I think his name is Hot Boy Awesome or something like that on Instagram. But well, like I was saying, she already had a boyfriend that's not in the business that um that's back from Houston. Uh, they got they had pictures all over the uh, internet. You know, they was taking pictures together. They were together. It was really her real boyfriend. But he was told, you know, shut the fuck up and play your part. And uh, that's why basically most artists used to be used to they used to make them tell the world that they were single, even though they had a wife or a girlfriend or boyfriend at home. They were told to be single because they wanted the fans to feel like they could have you. Or they wanted to leave you open just in case they wanted to couple you with somebody for record sales or for publicity. So basically, that's what Megan was put with money back, yo, for publicity. So then when they had to get, when it was starting to become, the boyfriend got tired of trying to, you know, sit there and watch his girl flown around with everybody else or flown with another dude. So he started to come out. So that's why money, that's why Megan the Stallion ended up putting out that, you know, they ended up looking at information that Moneybag was sleeping with a stripper and got her pregnant. None of that was true. That was just to try to end the relationship. Um, now they got her team put up with Meek Mill, Trey Songz, anybody, just to keep her name going. Uh, ever since Nikki retired, or supposedly retired, now Megan is the new it girl besides Cardi B in the industry. And they want to make her stay that way. So now she got to do whatever those folks want her to do. It surprises me that as soon as she got in the industry, her mom was her manager. And it's like as soon as she kind of blew up, her mom just surprisingly died. Like nobody knows what happened. Nobody knows anything. Everybody just seen that one day she was like, you know, rest in peace to my mom. And it was like, what? So I heard somewhere that she had a brain tumor and then other people don't know how she died. It's just one day she was here and one day she wasn't. Now, I don't know what's that about. I don't know if it's no industry stuff. I don't know what it's about. I just know that one day her mom was here, the next day she wasn't. And she was her manager at first. Because uh, her mom used to be a local rapper out of Houston, too. Like I said, man, that's the industry stuff that Megan has been caught up in. And y'all just watch how this play out, man. Megan's going to stay involved, caught up in some kind of bullshit from now on. Because they want to keep her name popping. They want to make her the new it girl of the industry. Watch and see what I tell you. She's going to be caught up in some kind of new relationship or something involving her. Because she's not going to last too long because of the image that they represent for her. Like, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? But y'all just watch and see what I'm saying. But um, that's all I got to, That's all I got for this video right now, man. Just let y'all know about this Megan Thee Stallion being caught up with all the all the Illuminati type, industry type stuff going on. It's a lot of artists y'all gotta pay attention and see how it play out. But um, if y'all like more videos like this, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and um, leave your comments below. Let me know what y'all wanna hear next. Holla.